Okay. Okay. Hi, it's Kat Conrad again. Um, welcome. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do one more raw food demo today for you. Um, I am going to show you, talk about aloe vera a little bit. So, um, as most of us are used to, especially if you live kind of in the uh, middle of the country where I do, we're used to seeing aloe vera kind of small like this in a little pot, you know, um, or maybe even a little larger. This is actually out of the pot. It's, it, you can just set it on your counter and it stays alive for a very long time without using any dirt or water or anything. Um, but we're kind of used to seeing, most of us anyway, are used to seeing it kind of this size if we don't live in tropical or, or warmer areas. Um, and uh, most people know that you can use aloe vera for, you know, cuts and burns and like mosquito bites and things like that, sunburns. Um, so it's very healing for your, for your skin externally. Um, and then, you know, like when you pinch off a piece of it and you don't have to worry about it, it grows back, right? So, um, it's, do so it means it's a very, it's got a lot of healing qualities, obviously very good for the skin. But what a lot of people don't know is, oh, I just broke it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> what a lot of people don't know is it does the same thing in your body. Um, it's very healing internally. So it can do the same kinds of things like heal burns, which is caused by like, like inflammation, which is kind of like the burning on the inside, you know, of our body. So one of its really good qualities is anti-inflammatory. Um, so it can cool those burns internally as well as externally. And also it can heal, it's very healing internally, just like it is externally. And, you know, has like um, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, all those um, things that we want to get rid of, um, you know, too much of. It can do the same thing on, on the inside as well. Um, and, you know, the gel is really like slippery and um, so it has that kind of quality in our bodies too. So it's really, really good for the um, GI tract from the top to all the way down. It's good for healing the entire thing. If you have any kind of acid reflux or, you know, anything like that, um, very good for healing that. Or also if you have any digestive issues, it can really help with that. Um, either the juice, a lot of people just buy it in the juice. I'm not really crazy about the flavor of most aloe vera juice. So what I like to do is actually just consume the gel. Um, and this leaf, as you know, this did not grow in this area. This came from Mexico. You can also get it. Um, from Texas um, or you know anywhere south of that it grows really well like um, we were in Jamaica it was growing like crazy in Jamaica um, some parts of Arizona it grows there really well so you know places that are that are a lot hotter and than in the middle of the country where I am so um, so I bought this at my Asian market actually and this is like less than two dollars so if you have an Asian market in your area check that out and they might um, have they have a lot of you know topical type things there so um, more than likely they will have these huge aloe vera leaves is a really good deal so um, anyway so how do we how do we use this darn thing um, the uh, it's kind of hard to get at a lot of the the parts down here so um, I mean you can but it's kind of hard to, to to get very much of it you can use it this part end of the leaf is really good for skin and things like that. You can put it on your face and your, you know, um, you can actually brush your teeth with it too. If you use um, like baking soda, salt, and aloe vera, it's good for brushing your teeth with. I know, it's kind of weird. Instead of toothpaste, it's really good for your gums, really healing. Um, anything that's like a mucous membrane is really good for that. So in your mouth, it's great. Um, great antibacterial and all that stuff. So, um, so use the end and just kind of cut that apart. Um, but there's not going to be a whole lot of you know, harvestable gel that we can eat in there. Um, but use that, definitely use that for your skin. When you cut into one of these, um, just like it does when you just pinch off a, a thing on the outside, it heals over really well. So you could just, once you cut into it, you want to store it in the fridge and either just lay it on the shelf or, I mean, I like to wrap it in a little bit of wax paper so the, the gel doesn't kind of drip down on anything else, but it will self heal. So, um, and you really, you don't even have to put it in the fridge. I mean, just like this, you can just leave it on the counter if you want to. I always stick it in the fridge just to um, just to keep it in there for longer. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to, to kind of get into this. So you just want to cut into 
you know, a, a good section I'll start down here somewhere and decide what I'm going to do. So like once you cut into it, you can see the inner, the inner gel and you don't want to just cut off a piece and, and throw the whole hunk in your smoothie or something or eat it. Um, you, uh, you don't want to eat the, the green part. Um, that is not a um, digestible part of the plant. It can um, and will cause um, digestive upset. Um, <laughs> so you want to definitely avoid the, the green um, skin and you just want to get the gel. So how do you get the gel out? Um, basically, I'm just going to cut a, a piece off here and show you how um, easy it is to get at this. Um, so first of all, it's, it's kind of sharp on the edges, you have to watch that, but you just want to cut off a little bit of the edge. And then what I do is take my knife and from the top, I don't know if you can see this, what I'm doing. Can you see the top of what I'm doing here? I'm just cutting, taking my knife and running it just kind of along the edge of that, kind of about halfway down. And then this. It's kind of like if you remember sectioning a grapefruit or something, just kind of taking a little serrated knife and running it kind of along the edge there. Look, I think I've got some skin in there. Oh, let me get to the edge. And then you just kind of turn it over and do the same thing. So you want not too long of a piece. You want your knife to be able to go about halfway down or so. And then just, if you can see, I'm just cutting along the, along the edge there. And we have a big hunk of just the gel is a little bit of green, and that's what we're left with. And you may not want to use that much in your smoothie. You want to, I mean, you can, obviously. Um, there's some things that say you don't want to use aloe vera for too long of a time. You just want to use it for a short duration and see if your symptoms improve um, for whatever you're taking it for. It is very um, highly medicinal. So, um, you know, if you have digestive issues, just, you know, take it for a while and see how it's working for you and if it's um, improving then you know kind of cut down on it so you don't want to take a medicinal thing for you know too long although a lot of people drink it every day like drink the juice every day or something but um anyway that's what you're left with and then if you didn't get quite close enough you can just take your knife and just kind of run it along the edge and get more of that gel off away from your fingers <laughs> so and you just want to just kind of cut that green part away so that's what you're left with. Um, aloe vera is also an adaptogen, which means that it can balance your hormones. If you're um, having any issues with hormones or especially like adrenal type things or you're um, just fatigued a lot or you're not getting enough sleep or something, it can balance those um, kinds of hormones. Um, that's a, an adaptogen. Um, that's that quality. As I said, it's also antibacterial, antifungal, antiparasitic. Um, all those things, it's um, really high in vitamins and minerals, um, and let's see, it can also, it's very good for killing parasites, and there's just a lot of qualities, it's good for, um, you know, your immune system, for your heart, just basically everything in the body, it's very supportive of your entire body system. So, um, very alkalizing, good for detox, um, like I said, good to get your digestive, um, uh, juices going good for digestion so good for weight loss you know and once you get those everything moving out like it should then you're going to just naturally lose weight um, also makes your blood less sticky you know so um, very um, high in like all the amino acids and the fatty acids good for your um, just about everything so um, anyway that is it but yeah if you yeah, make sure to save all of this really good gel for for your skin are really good for good for your skin
that's aloe vera. Um, make sure to visit my website too, um, katconrad.com. And I also teach um, a class in Tulsa if you're in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. Um, or if you want to come to the Tulsa, Oklahoma area, I teach Raw Food 101. It's a class that I teach um, just to kind of do this kind of thing, but I have recipes and all kinds of things. At, uh, I teach at Whole Foods. Um, but um, anyway, check out my website and see what I'm up to. I've got lots of recipes and things out there. And I will put the, um, I'll put a recipe for a smoothie I made with pomegranate seeds and aloe vera and some other stuff in it. So um, anyway, let me know if you like this video. And just uh, tell me if there's other things you want to know how to do or if other things that you want to learn. And I will try to do that. But just give me some comments and down below. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.